Hello Glam Bugs, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're gonna do a set, but real quick, I wanted to show you, I bought the refill bottle for the Gelin uh, base coat. I really, really like it. Um, it doesn't say that it's a rubber base coat or anything, but it does have a rubbery quality to it. Uh, it's so smooth, it goes on so well. Um, oops, wow. That was a huge mistake. So here's the thing. When you go to refill your bottle, don't leave that tip outside of the bottle at all. Otherwise, you see what just happened. A huge mess. So, well, a tiny mess. Okay. So make sure that's all the way down in there. Um, because, of course, it's gel, so the, you can't see inside the bottle so well. Because, you know, it has to be opaque. But... Um, so it's hard to tell how much you've actually put in there. So I feel like with time and experimentation, I'll be able to get it down better. But I was almost out of base coat and I went to go looking to see, you know, just to buy the base coat. And I saw that they had those, those refill bottles. And so I, I wanted to give those a try. And, um, uh, they've also got a top coat and a builder gel, so I'm going to be buying those next. So I will report back to you on the builder gel for sure, but the base coat and the top coat I'm really enjoying for the channel, so I, I'm going to keep going to keep using them. So what you can see here is I have done a quick jelly set. I just chose five beautiful jelly colors from Born Pretty, not sponsored, and um, I'm just putting it on there now. I had seen people use this silicone tool to do the chromes before, so I wanted to try it. And as you can see with this one, I don't like it that much. Uh, the green one seemed to, to work a little better for that, but I went right back to the little makeup sponges because look at how much better that looks. So, gonna say um, tried, tested, didn't love using the silicone tools for the chromes these chromes are also by born pretty i don't recall which which set i bought these are older i've had them for a while and um i don't even know which like all most of the numbers have fallen off so they're born pretty guys there you go if you want to try them they have nice these chromes are nice and they're more instead of being a solid chrome they're more of a see-through chrome which is what we needed for our jelly set I love how that purple shines. Look at that, mm, so beautiful. Now I didn't have a specific like yellow chrome, but I do have a gold and it worked really perfect on top of this yellow nail. Look at that. I had never really considered putting chrome on jellies before, but somebody had suggested it uh, to somebody else in a group that I'm in in Facebook. And um, I, I love it. So happy I saw that comment because it fits this set. And here's all five of them together. Real pretty, real pretty. So what we're going to do is I see everywhere the, the pretty um, partially drawn pictures of butterfly nails, right? Of wings, butterfly wings, I mean. And so I like those and all, but I thought I want to do something a tiny bit more abstract than that. And I thought, what if they were up close uh, snapshots, if you will, of fairy wings, right? And fairy wings would have their own kind of veining in them. And they would have their own flavor and flair. And so I decided that's what I was going to do. And so there's no real rhyme or reason to the lines I'm going to make, except I just wanted them to be fairy-ish and fantasy-ish and a little bit different than, than your normal butterfly wing nail. Um, I love to get inspiration from other artists, and sometimes I want to do complete recreations. There's plenty of times where you just want to recreate something that somebody else made because it's just so gorgeous. But a lot of times, I just want that to be a springboard for me to find my own design. And so that's what we did today. And I think both approaches are really fun and awesome. 
and I, I love seeing people work after being inspired by somebody else and so today we're inspired by many 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 beautiful and wonderful creations that I've seen from other nail techs and I mean the butterfly nail thing I see that so much and they're all just so 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 stunning and um so this is me throwing my hat in that ring and that's why I wanted to do jellies too because you think like dragonfly wings and stuff like that they're kind of iridescent and see-through or sheer rather and so I really I wanted to bring that flavor in because you think fairy wings they're going to be delicate they're going to be beautiful they're going to be glowy and that's where the chrome comes in the glowy part ah, so there you go that's that was my whole thinking process with this set and I think with the with the veining with the lines that you draw you can just be as inventive as you want to be you don't have to stick to anyone else's formula. It's supposed to be freedom, right? It's freedom. So now we're going to add some of those little dots, but we're going to do a second treatment that is going to bring more of the fantasy element in, at least in my mind. Um, I like the white dots, but while I was looking at them, I thought they're so bright against everything else and I felt like they weren't just making me as happy as they could so I got my pigments out and just dusted a little bit on there to give them a little glow of their own and so each fairy uh, wing sorry fairy wing is like monochromatic almost because I mean you do have the black in there but it's pink on pink and blue on blue and green on green and I just love that this set makes me happy honestly feel cheated that I didn't do it for myself and I know I say that sometimes about other sets but I, I feel like I would have really loved wearing this set so I don't know maybe I will just do it on myself and not make a video or do it as a live or something that might be fun that might be fun I haven't done a live in a really long time so let me know in the comment section if that's something that you would enjoy while you're scroll down there go ahead and click that subscribe button why hold yourself back it's free guys do it and if you do it thank you very much so we are just about finishing up here on this pink one I love these jelly polishes uh, by born pretty um, and again, not sponsored. Born Pretty don't know me. But hey, Born Pretty, if you want to sponsor me, mm, I'll, give, I'll give my folks a, a coupon code or something. Right? Right, guys? Um, <laughs> I uh, really do love the Born Pretty polishes. Um, I had a few back in the day, and I thought, oh, they're fine. They're meh. But I don't know if it's the jelly formula, because that's what I have right now, or jellies or if they change their formula or what, but I need to try some of their other polishes and, and see how I'm feeling it because they are definitely turning into some of my favorites in my collection. Now, um, on the purple ones, we're gonna kind of stay with a diagonal sort of slant to these, but um, coming from, you know, doing their own thing, the purples, every color has its own flair, has its own flavor, has its own feeling. And I really love it when all the nails, they combine, they go together, they tell a story. But each nail has its own story to tell. I really love that. That's one thing I love about certain artists like Chris, Christy Meekin. She is an innovator. I really need to catch up on her latest videos because she teaches me so much about art. I mean, I learn a lot about doing nails from her too. I've learned a lot from a lot of nail artists, but where innovating art co comes in christy is one of the best i i just love her and vo too of course votino um here we go with our little dots and then our powder and it just gives it sort of a lavendery sort of sort of sort of sort of um a lavender glow there you go i don't need to hedge my bets right i don't need to curb my language I mean I do sometimes 
but not in this instance. I can just say what I want to say, right? Say what you want to say, guys. Just do it. Don't be hurtful, though. Mm. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I just got a little in my musings there. So this is our final nail. I really have enjoyed making this set. I felt so free while I did it. And I just let my brush speak to me and let it flow where it wanted to flow on the nail. Um, these nails, by the way, are a new brand for the channel. It's by BT Art Box. Um, which is funny because one of the things I bought, the first thing I ever bought from their company, I returned to Amazon. It was a hand that you can practice on that just, I hated it from the second I touched it. So I never used it. I just sent it back. But I like these nail tips. They are, they're nice. They're on the shorter side though. And so I feel like I need to get some extra, extra longs because you don't always want to do just regular regular length nails you want to play with really long ones and i am uh, just about out of all my really long tips so that's why lately you've been seeing shorties but um i did see on the opre website that they sell refill bags at a pretty cheap price i mean they're not a, a extremely cheap price because opre is not that cheap but you can, I think it was 30 for like $4 or something. So I may give them a try just to, you know, say, hey, guys, let's test out these nails. So, right? Let me know in the comment section. Would you like to see that? Because we can make it happen. So we're just doing our top coat on these. And then we will have our completed fairy wing set. I love these. I think they are just so darn cute and fun and just adorable. Just adorable, guys. I like them. There you go. That was a little whiny, but that's okay. That's okay. Guys, let me know what you think about these in the comment section below. I do appreciate you so much. I appreciate your support and your attention to my videos. We are going to see you next time. Bye-bye.